Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a comparison using the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. I know that this has been like all the rage. I feel like every time I turn on Facebook or even like an AOL email account, they have some kind of advertisement for it. Um, it's supposed to be the best mascara out there for lengthening. It is a fiber mascara. It is a tubing mascara. And if you don't know, Thrive Cosmetics is a company that every time you purchase something, they will donate to a woman in need as well. So that's awesome. I'm all about giving. But I want to tell you a little bit more about this Liquid Lash Extensions mascara before I get into the comparison. It is $24. It only comes in one color, which is rich black. The name is called Brin. You can only get it on Thrive Cosmetics. And it is a tubing mascara powered by Orchid Stem Cell Complex. And apparently it also has something that's going to uh, promote long-term growth. It's flake-free. It combines buildable fibers and Korean plant extracts to add dramatic length and curl, creating the glamour of faux lashes without the glue. It has uh, vitamins B5, sodium hyaluronate, which is hyaluronic acid, um, and it claims to strengthen the lashes as well with continued use. So what I have done is I have put this up against my all-time favorite mascara, the Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mascara. I can't even tell you how many I've gone through. I feel like this is my fourth one, maybe? I don't know, but ever since this came out, it's been my absolute favorite. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this into two different days. The first day I'm going to put these up against each other with absolutely no lash primer, because if you don't know, I use two different lash primers underneath my mascara on a daily basis. And then the second day, I'm going to put it up next to each other using those lash primers. So we're gonna see if there's any difference in that. And then at the end, I will tell you my final thoughts. So if you have been interested to hear about the new-ish, maybe it's not even new anymore, but the much talked about Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for this first day, we are not going to use any of my normal primers. I want to see how it works just by itself because I know a lot of y'all don't use primers. So I'm going to do two separate days and show you how it looks without and how it looks with. So we're going to, like I probably said in the intro, start with my absolute favorite on one side. So this is the Bare Minerals Lash Topia, and then we'll use the Thrive on the other side. So I'm going to curl my lashes first because even if you don't use primers, I feel like that's a very necessary step. Um, there are a ton of different curlers around and it depends on your eye shape as to which ones will work the best for you but my favorite one is by Kevin Aquan. It's wide enough to get all of my lashes in without crimping or pulling them out, and it just works the best for me. So, like I said, it's gonna be different for everyone. So, let me see. I kind of feel like some of this might be a little unfair because I feel like my lashes on this side are better than my lashes on this side anyways, but we are going to try it nonetheless. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Lash Topia on my right eye. That is the brush if you haven't seen it. And again, this is my favorite mascara. I don't think I have used except maybe a week's worth of time and over the past year, a different mascara than this one. This is like my third tube that I've gone through. It just does the best for my lashes, so. I have a little bald spot like on my inner corner where I'm trying to have some regrowth. I don't know what happened to the lashes that were there, but alas, they are not there anymore. So I'm just going to take and just wiggle at the base like I do every single time. That is with one coat of the Bare Minerals. I am gonna go in with a second coat because I'm gonna use two coats of the Thrive as well. And the second coat does, I feel like, make a big difference as well. So that is two coats of the Bare Minerals Mascara. So now we're going to go into the Thrive for my left eye. And it has a much different brush. So the Bare Minerals has natural bristles. This seems to be uh, plastic bristles, and it's much thinner. Um, so let me get the Bare Minerals out so I can put them together. 
And also I'm starting them at the same, like their bottoms are matching. So you can see that the Bare Minerals actual wand is longer as well. But that's the difference between the two wands of the Bare Minerals and the Thrive. So you can see the Thrive is much skinnier. And again, it comes, it has uh, plastic bristles, excuse me, and it comes almost to a tapered point versus being full all around like the Bare Minerals. So um, the instructions just say to start at the root and work your way up just like I did with the other eye. When you open the box, it says a quick tip is to coat both sides of your lashes. I do that on my clients because it's much easier. I'm above them and it's easier for me to do that. It's harder for me to do it on myself because I'm coming at an opposite direction when you look in a mirror and I don't want to mess up my eyeshadow. So I'm just going to stick just like I did to the Bare Minerals. Just do it on the one side from the root to the tip. So I'm going to start at the root, wiggle, and bring it up to the tip. I can already tell that because of the wand size, it is not... I'm not getting as much product off of it. At least I don't feel like I am. We'll see what it actually does. Well, it just got on my eyelid, so there's product coming off. Probably not the best time to film this because my eye has been twitching. This eye has been twitching for like a week. I have no idea what it is. If anybody has a cure for that, please let me know because it is chronic. Y'all might even be able to see it in this video. So I do feel like this wand, because it has the plastic bristles, separates a little bit better than the Bare Minerals. I don't feel like I need to go back in but to separate them with that barrette. But again, I also don't have a bald spot on these lashes, so that might be it as well. So that is with one coat of the Thrive on this eye and then two coats of the Bare Minerals. So far, it's pretty impressive without a primer. I'm gonna go back in, do a second coat and then I'll separate if I need to. But this also will let me know if it clumps up or not the more you put on, because I do not find that the Bare Minerals clumps up as I apply it. I feel like I could probably put like five or six coats of that on and it will still never get clumpy or hard to work with. Okay, so that is with two coats of the Thrive, two coats of the Bare Minerals. I do find that this one seems to be, it, it seems to look like it's curled up a little bit more than the Bare Minerals side. That could be the way they were before I even started applying mascara. So I'm not taking off a point or even really adding a point because I don't know yet whether that is from the mascara or just from the way I curl my lashes. Um, this side does look longer. The lashes do seem to look longer on this side than they do this side. Again, that could be because they are curled up a little bit more. I do find this side looks a little bit chunkier, if if that makes any kind of sense. Like, I feel like this side looks a little more natural versus this side. But other than that, the length is more so in this side. I feel like at the base of my lashes, I have not put a, la a liner on yet. I feel like on this side, at the base of the lashes, they look a little thicker. So I'm thinking right off the bat that the Thrive is more for lengthening and not volume. But if we're just thinking about lengthening, the Thrive did a really good job. So let me put my pixie liner real quick on just a tight line and give you the final and finished look. All right, so that is with the tight line on. I'm completely done with my makeup now that I have that on. I will be looking at a couple things throughout the day. I will see how it holds a curl. I will um, take note of whether or not it crumbles or flakes throughout the day. And I will also pay close attention to how it removes because that is a big deal to me. If uh, a mascara is all over my face and it takes me, you know, three times over with an eye makeup remover to get it completely gone, it's not worth it to me, even if it looks fabulous on my lashes, because I think the Bare Minerals looks fabulous on my lashes and I don't require any extra steps when taking it off. It doesn't flake throughout the day. So those are the kind of things that I'm going to be looking at. But as you can see, Thrive, Bare Minerals, let me know down below which one you think looks better upon first application. And I will let you know at the end of the video how it held up throughout the day and when I took it off. And you will see me in just a second for day two where I use both of my primers to see if that makes a difference as well. 
Okay, so today we are going to use the same mascaras, the Bare Minerals and the Thrive, but I'm gonna use my normal primers with them today to see if that makes any sort of difference from just using the mascaras themselves. So if you don't know what my normal primers are, they are the Jane Iredell Pure Lash Lash Extender and Conditioner, and then I top that with the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. So some people will say, are two primers necessary? No. I mean, one primer is not necessary, but I find, and this one's almost out, I do have like two backups, but I find that it makes such a difference and it'll be a nice little um, test because it's been a while since I've worn mascara without the primer. So we'll see if it really does make as much difference as I think it does. But this Jane Iredell Lash Conditioner has um, some ingredients in it that actually condition the lashes and help make them grow as well. So I do feel like that that is somewhat responsible for the length of my lashes, that and my Revita Lash Serum. So I just put that on and now I'm putting the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer on. You could just use one or the other. I just find that I like them both because I am somewhat high maintenance when it comes to lashes. I have already curled my lashes before I came on camera. So this is the Bare Minerals. This is the same side I used it on. I feel like I should maybe switch up the sides, but I don't think that would be a fair comparison because I do feel like my lashes on the other side are a little bit better than this side, but we are gonna keep it like we had it yesterday and see where we get. Okay, so that is the one coat of Bare Minerals. And now we are gonna go to this side and try the primers, which I will not make you watch again, and the Thrive Mascara. So now let's apply the Thrive. I will say, if I forget to mention it in the overview, I do think that the brush on the Thrive makes it a little bit easier to apply than the Bare Minerals because I often have smudges on my lash line when I apply the Bare Minerals. It doesn't bother me and I don't feel like it is that noticeable, but I do have it because the brush is so fat and fluffy that it tends to poke through my lashes and actually get on my lash line. Um, obviously if you wear a liner, that's not gonna be an issue. It will be covered up, but it's something to note anyhow. So that was very quick and I think it is noticeable how much longer this side is than this side. I did not put the brush back in and I, and I have found, I think I said this the last little installment that the brush separates better than the Bare Minerals. I don't find it clumps up as much, but I am just gonna separate just a little bit right here. Now I'm gonna go in real quick off camera and apply my second coat and then we'll come back and talk about the finished look. So one thing I will note that the Bare Minerals, when you apply the second coat, it doesn't get as clumpy as the Thrive seems to. I feel like it separated much better when I only had one coat on. So that is two coats of both mascaras with the primer. I don't know how it's gonna come off on the camera, but this side does look fuller and longer than the Bare Minerals. Let me apply my Pixie real quick and then we'll come back. I am, I'm not gonna like wait for a different day to tell y'all my thoughts on this. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now that I personally think this is an amazing mascara. I don't think you need two coats. Like I don't, I didn't see a huge different any difference any of the days that I use them between one and two coats, except for the fact that I do find it gets a little clumpy. Like I said, on that second coat, it's a little more hard to uh, separate, but again, you know, I have my trusty barrette, so no fear on that. I will say that um, even though the, the video makes it seem like yesterday I did the last segment, it's actually a few days ago and yesterday I used just the Thrive Mascara with my primers so that I was able to see how it did on the eye that doesn't have as good a lashes, so the eye that I've been doing the Bare Minerals on. 
And I have to say, it does make them longer than the Bare Minerals. Um, I don't know that it's any more volumizing than the Bare Minerals, but I don't find it's any less either. So I don't think if you maybe are looking for something that's just volumizing, I don't think you're going to be upset with this because I find that it gives about the same volume and length, even more so in the length than the Bare Minerals. The only difference that I've found is that I do find that the Bare Minerals still at the base of the lashes looks a little bit thicker, but I don't think it's enough to warrant claiming that it's a huge difference because I just don't think it is. Um, as far as flaking throughout the day, both of these mascaras do not flake on me and I am someone who probably around like five or six, if I'm sitting in front of the computer and, or I'm reading or whatever it is, I will pick at my eyelashes. It's an awful habit. Don't do it, but I do. And it's what I have noticed. It's a lot harder to get the Thrive to pick off than it is the Bare Minerals, probably because it's a tubing mascara um, and the Bare Minerals does not claim to be. But on that note, it also is a lot harder to get off. Um, most tubing mascaras claim you only need warm water. Uh, that's not the case with this. Warm water does not get this off for me. I do have to use my normal eye makeup remover and it comes off in huge clumps, which a tubing mascara does. For some reason that bothers me. I don't know why. It's um, an aesthetic thing or something. I don't know what it is, but it kind of grosses me out. I have no idea why. I make no excuse for that because it's totally random and totally not related to the efficiency of the product, but it is what it is nonetheless. Um, so I'm not keen on how it comes off. I don't find that it is as easily taken off as other tubing mascaras. For instance, the Matte Giga Black Lash that I use on my lower lashes every single day is also a tubing mascara and it comes off with just warm water. So I find that to be different. But other than that, um, I don't think this is any worse than the Bare Minerals by any means. I think on some levels, it's even a little bit better. You are gonna take into account the price. It is $5 more than the Bare Minerals and it's not as easily accessible. Um, as far as I know, you can only get it on Thrive Cosmetics. Let me look that up real quick, shall I? Yeah, I don't see it anywhere else but Thrive Cosmetics. Whereas the Bare Minerals, you can get on the Bare Minerals site, you can get an Ulta, Sephora, QVC. Ulta and Sephora, you can use a discount if they have one available. QVC, you can use Easy Pay. It's only $19, but they are op there are options out there that make it easier to purchase versus Thrive Cosmetics, which I'm not that aware. They may do sales very often. I just don't know about it. And you can only purchase the mascara there. So accessibility, Bare Minerals wins for sure. But on all other counts, except taking off at night and the base of the lashes, I think Thrive actually wins. So if you're looking for something that pretty much does everything it claims to do and doesn't smudge or flake throughout the day and is vegan and cruelty free, I would definitely give this a try. I'm not saying it's going to replace my beloved Lashtopia from Bare Minerals, but it is definitely a contender and I'm almost out of this one. Once I finish, I will only use the Thrive until I'm out of that and then we'll see which one I'm actually gonna repurchase. But it is a winner in my book and I think it's definitely one to check out. So if you've been wondering about the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, probably you haven't because I feel like there's 800 other <laughs> videos about it. But if you want to know my view on it, that's my view. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, got some kind of information out of it. If you have any questions, be sure and leave it down in the description. If you have any questions, be sure and leave it down in the comment section below. And while you're at it, let me know your favorite mascara of all time, because I always like to know what other people like. And if you've tried Thrive, what you think of it, or if you're going to try Thrive after this video, that was a little tongue twister. All right, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.